I'm putting all my trust in the college students to cook me a meal. So a while ago, my mom told me about this project that the students from Lackawanna College Culinary School do. They basically run a restaurant on campus where locals can come and dine. I was hesitant to go. Because of that hesitation, I waited too long to make the reservation and was put on a wait list. At this point, I was upset with myself because I didn't say yes right away and could be missing out on a potentially great meal. Then, at the last second, the day before the reservation, I got lucky. They called us and said we had a table. To be honest, I had no clue what I was in for. Would the food be great? Would I hate it? What does a restaurant in a college look like? But I decided to say F it and let a bunch of college kids cook me dinner with little to no clue what to expect. <laughs> so if I'm being honest, I still really don't know where we're going or what we're doing. Uh, I, j I just know that college kids are gonna cook us dinner and I hope it's not like ramen in the microwave. <laughs> I really don't know what to expect. When we arrived to the restaurant, we were in shock of just how nice it was. We're here and it's way fancier than I ever expected in my life when wearing a t-shirt. And I thought we were going to be in a cafeteria with a bunch of kids. We're in like this really fancy area. Honestly surprised. We were also impressed by the cultural menu. Starting off with braised short rib egg rolls. <laughs> then a sous vide steak with chimichurri on it. Each were better than the next. I've never had a sous vide steak. It looks insanely tender. I've never had a sous vide steak before. Kennedy's cutting with a butter knife legitimately. <laughs> until getting to the delicious lineup of desserts with the epic finale of the Korean rice cake. That is amazing. I don't know what that is, like rice cake. That like rice cake, or, I don't know what rice cake is, but it's now my new favorite thing. It's warm, but it's really dense and like gooey in the center. The flavor, I don't even know how to explain the flavor, but it's so like vanilla -y, but like, I don't know how to describe it. And the honey ice cream complements it all beautifully. I love this dessert. Korean desserts are underrated. This was a completely unique dining experience. Not only did we get great food, but the menu was unexpected, exciting, and inspired. I was on the fence about going because of their amateur status, but it made me reflect on my own journey. Like these young chefs, I'm a novice, and I don't have much of a reason for an audience to believe in what I make. But oftentimes, as this dinner showed to me, amateurs are more hungry to prove their talents to the world. So never count out the underdog, because you never know, they might surprise you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. We got three desserts right now for two people. I'm gonna have a scoop of each and then you'll eat it. And then I'm gonna have to eat the rest and become 500 pounds. 600, seven, nine, 900.